What's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna be doing something I should have probably done a long time ago. I'm gonna be making my car legal again by putting on a front license plate. So stick around guys. So before I get into it, if you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I make videos about my BMW and pretty much anything else car related, so hit the button guys. All right guys, so let's just get into it. All right, so as you guys can see, I clearly do not have a front license plate. Some states don't need you to, but I live in New York and unfortunately I do need to have a front license plate. I didn't wanna go with the traditional one where you guys basically drill into the bumper over here. So what I wanted to do was get one that I don't have to drill into the bumper. So an alternative for that, you guys probably see it a lot, are the ones that basically mount up to your tow hook over here. Uh, that's exactly what I got so let me show you guys and I also have something else for it as well but let me show you guys and then we'll get into installing it all right guys so here it is over here so there's not really much to it it's pretty simple it has the bracket over here and then pretty much uh, everything underneath it it did come in a bag but I already opened up the bag and I took everything out trying to see like where everything goes but uh, this is pretty much everything you need and then on top of that I also got um so here's my front license plate over here uh, and then I also got these these license plate frames over here uh, I don't know if I can put this on this bracket, but I guess I'll find out. I'm definitely going to put this on the rear though, because right now I have that like silver chrome-ish dealership one, which is super ugly. And if you guys can tell, this one has like a carbon fiber look. And of course it says M Performance over here, which I think looks really cool on my 435 M Sport. Um, but yeah, I think this should make it look better. Small differences definitely count, guys. So these frames I got from Amazon for about like maybe 20 bucks or so. They have different designs as well. So I'll leave a link down in the description if you guys want one. Um, also feel free to check out the other designs. And this bracket over here I got from Burger Motorsports, um, which was about like maybe 40 bucks or so. I saw some on Amazon that were cheaper, but I actually ordered one. And when it came in, it was like super cheap and bad quality. So I kind of went for a little more expensive one, but I think it's going to be worth it, guys. So again, if you guys want this one, I'll leave a link down in the description. But yeah, let's get into installing it. All right, guys, so this thing comes in multiple pieces. You just basically need a screwdriver to actually take your license plate frames off. That's really for the back. Um, and then you need an Allen key, but this comes with it. So what we're basically going to do is put that on the side. Um, I started playing around with it, but this should basically come as a separate piece over here. So it'll come in all these different pieces over here, guys. So this, I believe... And I'm just going based off the picture on, on the Burger Motorsports website. So if I'm doing anything wrong here, guys, like feel free to correct me in the comments. Um, but yeah, so this piece here will actually go into your tow hook. And then this over here will connect to this piece. And then this piece will connect to the bracket, sort of like this. And then that will screw into that. And then this bracket will connect to this. So I believe you have different, you can kind of like pick where you want to mount it exactly. But um, let's start putting this piece together, guys. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll put on the license plate over here and we'll get this thing going. So this might be hard to do with one hand, guys. So I might just do it and then show you guys the finished product. But let me do that right now. All right, guys. So this is what I have so far. Again, this piece here uh, connected to this piece. And then I used... Uh, this screw over here with the washer to connect this piece over here to this I know I'm just saying this and this but I don't really don't know what each one of these are called So I'm just basing what screws should be used where based on size and like what seems like it fits So hopefully I'm using the right ones guys again if I'm doing anything wrong like feel free to correct me I should probably know but um but yeah, so let's just continue with this So let me show you what I did so far So I actually ended up removing this piece from this one over here The reason for that is I actually think I need to screw this into the the tow hook first and then I can screw this piece in so the reason why I mounted this piece like that is because if you guys notice, if I can get up, uh, if you guys notice, so the tow hook is right over here and then I have a sensor over here. So basically I want this to sort of like mount and be out of the way of the sensor. So that's the reason why I did that there. So um, hopefully that works out. If it doesn't work out, I'll just adjust it. I'll also test it once it's all in, but uh, hopefully it's good. So let's uh, let's keep going. So before I actually keep going, let me just show you guys. So there are these two larger screws over here. I kind of figured those should be used for this bracket. Um, and then there's these two larger nuts to kind of go on the back over there. I basically put it on with my hands for the most part. And then um, I tightened up with the Allen key. There's two sizes. Uh, it's obviously the larger one for these over here, but yeah, I did it mainly with my hand. I tightened it with the Allen key. I didn't see any washers for this, so hopefully that should be fine. I think it will be, but um, yeah, it's on pretty tight. All right guys, so an update. So I was able to get the license plate actually attached to the bracket. Um, I was also able to get the frame on. Something I will say about the frame, there are two additional screws or screw holes uh, over here, like literally the same side or the same, you know, as the, the top ones over here, but you kind of can't use them because this frame blocks it. I don't think it will be a big deal. I think the two on the top will be enough to hold it on. So uh, let me show you guys. So basically use these screws here to attach to the bracket back here in the back. So you're holding on the frame and the license plate both onto this bracket back here. 
Um, but yeah, so you screw that in. Again, I use my hand mainly, and then I use this smaller Allen key over here to tighten it, and then you use the nuts back here. So as you can tell, here are the other kind of like screw holes, I guess. The license plate frame does kind of hug the license plate over here with that little hook, I guess, so it shouldn't go flying around. Um, hopefully not too much at least, but then you guys can tell I do have some extra screws and nuts over here So um, obviously if you guys don't use the frame, you know, just screw all four in But I think two should hopefully be good. All right guys So I think this is pretty much ready to go on so let's maybe screw this into the tow hook and then screw this into um, This back piece over here. Hopefully the alignment's also good. I think everything's on here tight. So but Yeah, I think I think we're ready. I actually really like the way that this frame looks too um, it's worth losing the screw holes in my opinion, but we'll see if it flies off. It's probably not, but TBD guys. All right guys, so like I said, we can start screwing everything in. So to basically take off this plastic piece over here uh, that's covering the, the tow hook, you basically just press down and it should pop off like that pretty easily. And obviously just lift this away at that point. So once you lift that away, you'll obviously notice that this is hanging over here. Uh, the way to actually get that to, you know, kind of like it's like permanently remove it is if you guys notice over here, there's it's it's kind of held on just like that so you literally can just like pull it with a little force um you know so like it has this little slot and this bends inward so it kind of locks it in but yeah that's all you have to do guys is just pull it away with a little bit of force maybe squeeze down on these two to kind of get it skinnier to fit through that hole but yeah we're just going to take that off and uh we'll put that somewhere make sure we don't lose it so now you can obviously see that there's spots to basically screw in so let's put this piece in right now again i probably need two hands so let me do it and uh, i'll let you guys know all right guys so i was able to get it in um it's super easy actually it's literally it screws in just like a normal screw honestly just make sure it's tight i don't know if there's really a way i'm sure you can probably use like a plier or something to make sure it's really tight i just tighten it as much as i can with my hands i think it'll be good um but yeah now let's get the license plate over there and get it on all right guys so maybe just an update uh just maybe actually more so like a word of advice uh maybe don't put on the license plate first it's probably a mistake uh doing it like this first and then basically being able to tighten this over here and this over here as much as you need to is probably the best route to do it and then uh, i just need to strain this out a little more but then i'm going to reattach the license plate also i think it might be blocking the sensor and i don't think i can really move it to the side any more than that but um but yeah, let's let's just get the plate on. But yeah, now since it's all tight, I'm gonna straighten it. Then I'm gonna get the license plate on, and we'll see about the sensor, which might be an issue, but we'll figure it out. So it looks like it's on. Um, it looks pretty straight to me, but I can always adjust it if I need to. Yeah, I might need to adjust it a little bit. But yeah, it's on there. The only thing is, I think I was right. It looks like it actually is blocking the sensor, so I think that's gonna trip it out a little bit. I'll look into it. Maybe I'll make like an update video on it. But it does look good at least. Like, let me show you guys from a distance. So that's it. I mean, obviously having no front license plate is the best but kind of can't do that like i can technically get a ticket for not having one so this is a nice alternative so here's it from the back guys so as you can see you can see like all the i guess like the mechanisms to it all right guys so with the front one done let's change out the frame on the rear one again it's the same exact frame but we're going to be changing it out because as you guys can see over here if we go back to the rear I have this ugly chrome um, dealership one and I kind of want this one which is again carbon fiber to match the diffuser over there so rather than the chrome so let me put that in guys and I'll show you what it looks like that looks so much better than this hey guys it looks so good like let me show you if I step back it's such a small thing but it makes a big difference honestly guys it's little things that make a difference but yeah guys it looks so good honestly like the subtle carbon fiber look looks good and performance looks good hopefully no one knocks me for it i mean it is 435 so i think m performance is fair there are ones that say m but obviously this is not an m4 so i wasn't gonna go for that but m performance i think is fair but yeah guys it looks really good honestly even from a distance with the diffuser both like that carbon fiber look it looks really good it's such a small difference but honestly i personally think it makes a big difference especially that chrome thing was such an eyesore but yeah drop me a comment guys let me know what do you guys think so something i will say i probably messed up on the front one but so this one of course had four screws one over here one over here and then two behind here so the license plate frame does cover them what i was able to do was actually screw in the bottom two on the license plate first then i was able to get the hooks on the frame basically on the license plate and then i screwed in the frame and the license plate with the two top screws over here so as you guys can see it's basically stuck onto the bottom of the license plate with those hooks but the license plate is screwed onto the car with all four screws so i should probably go back and do the same thing to the front one but i won't bore you guys with that i'll basically just do it off camera 
and uh yeah that's pretty much it all right guys so here it is a couple days later i did come back and put these little caps over here so these basically cover the screws i'm not sure if i'm in love with them i mean yeah they cover the screws and they're black but like they protrude out a good amount anyways these come with the frame not the mount so if you guys get the frame you'll get these and you also have some for the back frame as well but anyways that does come with it uh so if you guys do get the frames just keep that in mind you guys can put those on if you want uh just a couple updates on it i actually was not able to get the license plate away from the sensor so unfortunately if you do have your sensor on it's just going to be freaking out the whole time it's going to think that something's in front of it i mean there is something in front of it but it kind of sucks so yeah it kind of renders it useless um which is really unfortunate guys i tried everything i also went online and i looked up a couple other people who did it for the four series um and you know they had the same issue so i mean it is what it is guys so if you guys do want any of this stuff that means the mount or even the license plate frame i will leave links down in the description below so definitely check that out guys if you guys want my opinion the mount is nice but for me it's probably not going to be the best because of those sensors i do use the sensors a lot so i don't want them to trip out but if you guys don't care about the sensors or you don't have any sensors definitely a good choice just make sure it's for the right chassis code so i believe there are different ones for the f generation and the e generation so just make sure you have the right one the license plate frame will also be linked down in the description below i think that one's definitely worth it guys especially if you have like a dealership license plate frame definitely swap that out for like an m performance or even like an m1 you don't have to do the same exact one that i got they have multiple designs designs and whatnot so definitely just pick and choose whichever one you guys like it is nice because both of these things also come with all the tools you need it comes with all the screws it even comes with like an allen key and the license plate frame actually comes with a little screwdriver so uh this is it over here so if you guys can see that that's a little screwdriver it gives you i mean hey this sucks i'll be honest with you guys but like it's nice that they give you something and then uh the mount gives you like all the allen keys and whatnot that you need uh it comes with two sizes the tools kind of suck but you know like they get the job done and it's more than enough so you guys just buy this and you'll technically have everything you need all right well anyways guys if you like this video if you found it entertaining or helpful drop me a like also leave me a comment let me know what do you guys think about this license plate holder let me know what you think about the frame uh and also if you guys have an idea or any suggestions on what i should do to mount the license plate like please let me know if you haven't already hit that subscribe button it really helps me out but yeah anyways i'll catch you in the next one peace